So we've got 10 questions, so it's basically quick answers. And this is, this is your chance now to hammer the lads as much as you can. All right? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. Right, there's a couple of serious ones, and then there's a couple of, like, where you will try and get some, some gags in. Right, so what was your favourite ground that you played at? Any time, or a party yeah. club? Any time. Uh, that was here at Wembley. That was, was that uh, for? That was for um, England school boys. Uh, to walk out there and um, was captain of your, of your country finger school boys in front of like a 50,000 was so much special. I'll never, I'll never forget that that moment. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so when, like the old Wembley, obviously. I've got, um, got the young one here. Yeah. Um, but coming in and then the, the big bath was still there, and, you know, at the time. And yeah, it was, it was an unbelievable stadium. Fantastic. You played with some right stars from England, didn't you? Yeah, the 18s, yeah, they had some... Oh, yeah, have you heard this story, Mark, have you? <laughs> I've, never, I've, I've never heard that we played with Fringley. <laughs> I'll just clean yeah, up weird things. Go on, you're walking out the park, Paul. Nah, just, just the, the top lads who went... Ah, they were, yeah, like Scorsi, Fowler, Butty, Bex, all them lot, and... <laughs> yeah, Saul Campbell, and yeah, they great players, and went on to massive things in the all of them, and great lads as well, by the way, really... Humble and um, really top lads they were, really good people. Yeah, you can't really top that answer, can you? <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, next one is toughest opponent. So who did you always dread playing against or find like, hard to play against? Not yeah, as in hard, like hardest man, but like who was a good player? Who was... Um, the, hard, the, the the toughest was Gary Brabham at Hull when he was at Hull. Mm. He was a bit of a meathead in midfield and he used to go through, he didn't, didn't really care. And, um, he was tough, strong, physical. Um, Technical-wise, um, probably, his, well, obviously the days when I was at, at Leeds as, as a young player, just some of the players, obviously United lads at um, schools and them, were un unbelievable with the ball, talented. Um, awareness, vision, quality of the pass was... Um, Absolutely brilliant. So it was tough, tough playing against the, the, the likes of them with that much quality in, in the feet, really. Um, but in terms of aggression and the physicality of somebody who, who doesn't care if he's going to hurt you and just wants to win the ball, probably his probs, I think. Yeah, I remember playing against him. We played, it was a Blackpool he was at, and I was at Middles, uh, Middlesbrough Reserves, but for some reason I was the oldest player playing. So I was probably 20. I was playing for Middlesbrough Reserves and we played Blackpool and he was doing exactly what you're doing. He was like yeah, going around just kicking all the lads. So for some reason, I thought I was captain. I best say something to him. So I've gone, hey, man, pack it in, will you? Just get on and play some football. So he's absolutely kind us. So I've turned around and went, oh, shut, man, you fuck <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's the end of that. And he went, fat. And he just took his top off in the middle of the game. And he was absolutely, <laughs> ripped. He was absolutely ripped to bits. And I was like... <laughs> Oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so I was just the rest of the game, I was like, just hoping he was staying. But I just took his top off and just stood there and was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. fat line. He was absolutely ripped. I think he was a bouncer as well, you know. I think you're on oh. good, like, bouncers and that, I think. Yeah, he was a tough, tough lad, but I was like. Yeah, I remember him. Right, uh, favourite goal that you scored? Um, probably, Hartley Pearl was, was that one of that week I scored. Um, the one that I bent over Dibs. Um I scored a, I scored one thing in school boys in um in Germany at um the Berlin Stadium. They just we were over there and they just knocked another Berlin Berlin wall. We knocked the Berlin wall down. Um Is that in Germany like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they they allowed East Germany to come into into obviously West Germany and watch the game for the first time. Um, and it was live on German television of them. I think we won. We won I think Martin Smith scored. Martin Smith oh scored. yeah. Um, won four 0 and it was. A, I had a, like a little dribble from the halfway line. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, and I, and I scored there. So that was that was a. I enjoyed that goal. But the Hartley Pool Hartley was. Um, yeah, one of the the Hartley goals was one of my favourites for pools. I think. Okay, so next, who was the fastest teammate that you played with? Um. It was lightning. Um, FEM was quick. FEM was, was really quick. Um, 
Leeds, you had like Rod Wallace, who was who was quick, who was electric pace. Yeah, so I, I don't know what any more quick ones at Artie Pool, FEN. Joel, Joel was Joel was quick. Um me, I was pretty near Joel. <laughs> Especially in them sprints. <laughs> them 30 yard sprints. <laughs> Right, next one. Who is the worst dressed teammate? Oh, I know I spoke about and humps in the day, mate. When we used to go into the into the new inn, mate. And he it was obviously it was student day and he, he used to come just as actual student with these them cravats on and these jackets and he used to say, <laughs> Oh yeah, I was smart as a coward, I was um best dressed in the in the pub and that, but I thought, what are you doing, mate? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you told him as well, did you? Yeah, he used to have a silly scarf around his neck and oh come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next one is who is the ugliest teammate that you've played with? <laughs> I got a story about this, but I'm not gonna tell it because it was uh, he doesn't believe it happened to him. No, go on, um, go on, go on, tell, go on tell it. Go I, on. I was gonna tell that story at the time and I never got a chance to tell it. You tell it now. Because I know exactly what you're going to see. We're, <laughs> down, we're down under the PFA, and we're in this in this club, and um, all lads were in this this booth, and um, a group of people they got talking to um, these these girls were in a group, um, and we were all in a group. Um, so Daz was Daz was talking to Daz was talking to some some girl, and um, I think the lads um, the lads asked, "Oh, how come she's talking to Daz?" <laughs> oh, we've had a bet who can, who can pull the ugliest block in here. And he, he still won't have it. He still he still doesn't believe that. But that was that was the crack on the night. Actually, who can you've had a bet who can pull the ugliest block in here? So they talk. <laughs> <and it does. laughs> so is Donald Clark your answer? Is that where you're going? No, he's a good looking lad, does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I remember he used any time that story got brought up, he used to hear that story. It honestly so much he, he used to try and shut it down as soon as he heard the PFA <laughs> yeah, do it. He was like yeah, trying yeah. to change the subject. He hated it. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Yeah, yeah, go on. I, yeah, I don't know who's, who's the ugliest. Um Effie had a bit of a nose. <laughs> yeah, Beat on him, didn't he? And Joel. He's like uh, postman Pat Joel, one he was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Who was the biggest drinker? Um, and I'll, you're nearly up there, mate. You've got to be up there. I tell you, t Tommy Miller could drink. Tommy, Tommy can drink. And we used to go to Magaluf. I think me and me and you, Mick, we used to we were like during the day, weren't we? Type of drink. Yeah, we used to have a few like quite a bit during the day, but kind of relax it on a night. Um, Buster, he could. He could drink Buster. That oh, time I said about Buster, he can't drink, can he? Jesus, that time he collapsed in Magaluf. We had to carry him back to the hotel. <laughs> oh my God! Um, yeah, I just uh, Tommy's. Tommy was decent. Who else was that? Yeah, a few, a fair few lads who could have a drink, but I struggled after two days in Magas or three days. As you got older, you uh, two days is enough, three days is enough. You, you, they got worse in you as you got older, and you couldn't. You couldn't take the three days anymore. Yeah. I remember I remember being in Maggers with Tommy and it was one of the first times where he went. And it was when he was just building up that reputation of this he's going to be a good young player. And Howard Kendall was there. And I don't know who he was working with at the time. He was a manager at the time. I don't know when he was. He might have been at Everton when he was at Everton. And um, he stopped to talk to someone that was with our group. So Tommy stood up and Tommy's absolutely hammered. And he's going, Howard. You're supposed to be signing me. What's the crap? What's going on? You ain't going to sign us. And yeah. Howard Kendall just looked and went, probably not, son. <laughs> <laughs> just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah.